bit of a game changer and actually a really neat way of using a custom button like this. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. So a few weeks ago, I released a video covering the unboxing setup and initial impressions of the Backbone One PlayStation Edition controller for iPhone. And the video for this little device has done pretty well, both in terms of views and also in generating tons of questions. Now, a few of the questions that people have been asking about this controller have been very similar. And that made me realize that actually there were a few things that maybe I could have explained a little bit better in the original video. So I'm here to put that right and hopefully address a few of those questions, plus cover a few extra tips that I've picked up along the way. Here we go. So let's start off with the most common question that was asked, which is, do you need a console to use this device? Well, there are kind of two answers to that question. The first one, very basic, yes. Absolutely, you need a console to use this device. Bearing in mind, all this does is integrate with the existing Remote Play app on your phone to let you connect to your console, operative word being there, your console definitely would need either a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 to make the best use of this device. Now there's a more nuanced version of this answer which is it kind of depends on what you want to play. So if all you want to play are PlayStation games, I'll refer you to part one of my answer. You can't play PlayStation games using this controller on your iPhone without a console. Just can't be done. But if you're wanting to play things like Apple Arcade games that support controllers, this will work just fine. Likewise, if you've got a subscription to something like Xbox Game Pass or Google Stadia, this will give you access to all of those games through those platforms, which you can stream through your iPhone. No console needed. Okay, next question. Do you need to be in the same location as your console to use this controller? Well, although you do need to be in the same location when you first set up the remote play part of the app and connect it to your console, after that, you can be absolutely anywhere you want to be. The only catch is, is that your console either has to be on or in rest mode. So if your console is on or in rest mode and you've got a connection via the Remote Play app, you can be absolutely anywhere you want to be. My advice would be to pick somewhere that's got a pretty strong Wi-Fi signal, but actually you can even connect to your console via cellular data. So you'll need to set this up in your Remote Play app by going into settings, and then mobile data and then switch this on it is off by default so now do be warned here if you've got a data cap on your mobile phone contract this is going to eat up a lot of data now as you can see here you can specify the quality for streaming over cellular at best quality for streaming this burns through 6.8 gigabytes of data per hour so unless you've got an unlimited data contract you probably want to keep an eye on this but technically it means you could head out to a field and game there Okay, so next up we had a host of questions about the Backbone Plus subscription. Do you need this subscription to use the Backbone One controller? So super easy to answer this question. You do not need the subscription to use this controller. All the subscription does is offer two things. Number one, convenience. If you play games via a variety of different platforms, you have one place to go to that you can access all of the games. So it offers one place, to access games from PlayStation, Xbox, Google Stadia, Apple Arcade, and Steam. Now you will need to have subscriptions active for all of those services in order for this to work, but the Backbone Plus subscription brings them all into one place. Pure convenience. Now, the second thing that the subscription unlocks is a handful of niche features. So for example, if you want to record video direct from your console onto your phone, you will need the subscription. So also if you want to stream from your phone to Twitch or YouTube, you can only do that with a subscription. Okay, so just within the kind of Backbone Plus subscription questions, there were quite a few people commented on, what about these 350 free games that's quoted on the website? So this is a little bit sneaky and you have to check the small print to find out what this really means. So yes, technically, the Backbone Plus subscription does give you access to 350 free games, but, these are spread across a number of different platforms and it is only trial access. So it's only really free for about two weeks and then all of the subscriptions are gonna start kicking in for things like Game Pass, Google Stadia and so on, as well as mount on top of your Backbone Plus subscription. Like I said, a bit sneaky. Now, this next question came up just once but I thought it was worth covering because I think it's a really important one. What about the touchpad? So I mean, the short answer is, 
there isn't a touchpad. Now there are some games where the touchpad is used quite a bit. I'm thinking of games like Astro's Playroom where there are certain levels where it's absolutely critical to have quick and easy access to the touchpad in order to progress through the different stages. So the only way to access the touchpad if you're using the Backbone controller and you're in remote play mode is to tap the three dots here on the screen and you'll find a virtual touchpad will pop up. Obviously this is not ideal. So if you're playing lots of games that you need to use the touchpad for, my recommendation would be to not bother buying the Backbone controller and just pair your DualSense controller with a phone or a tablet via Bluetooth so that you can remote play with that set up instead. That is a much easier way to play. So let me finish off with a couple of tips which actually contradict a few claims that I made in the original video. And thank you to Zachary in the comments for pointing these out. Firstly, I said that the orange backbone button on the controller takes you back into the app. That's not all it does. So if you're in a game and you press and hold this button, it will actually return you to the PlayStation screen. Bit of a game changer and actually a really neat way of using a custom button like this. So Zachary also mentions that if you buy your Backbone controller from Amazon, you actually get a full year's trial of the Backbone Plus subscription rather than the two weeks that I mentioned in the video. Now here in the UK, there's actually no option to purchase the PlayStation edition of this controller via Amazon, but I think this is good for everyone to be aware of. Okay folks, so there's a little update. Thank you for all your questions and it's really good to hear that you're out there having fun with this cool little controller. And just FYI, I've got no affiliation with Backbone. They're not paying me to promote this or talk about this. They've not sent me any free controllers. You know, I wish, but I'm just happy to talk about cool tech that I come across and that I think people might be interested in. As always, folks, if you've got any other questions, drop them in the comments below. If you found this one helpful, let me know with a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, possibly a cheeky subscribe too. I'll see you next time.